Hello everyone. I welcome all of you to BISP Self Learning Video Broadcast Solution. My name is Sumit and I am a ClickQ subject matter expert. And today I am going to talk about a very interesting topic in ClickQ that how to show the trend lines for expression on different axes in ClickQ. So we will be going to create two trend lines and uh, so we will be going to display trend lines on different axes in ClickQ. So for that, I'm going to take a scenario and the scenario is that's my daily expenses data sheet. So as you can see here, I have got three columns in my data model. First is date, first column contains date. Second column contains the income, date, daily income and the third column contains the expenses that is the daily expenses. So my requirement is I would like to calculate the margin margin and margin person on daily basis and once we have got margin and margin person I would like to create a, a chart in click view same like this and which will present the margin and margin person in different trend lines in the on different axis so first of all let's calculate the margin how to calculate the margin so I would like to calculate the margin between the income and expenses so to calculate the margin, I create two more columns, margin and margin percent. So in margin, I use equal to this minus expenses. So that's the margin. Margin is 20. And to calculate the margin percent, that will be equal to income minus income minus expenses divided by income. Now why I am going to take this formula because in click view we will be going to use the same formula to calculate the margin percent and this is showing in 0.2 percent so I format it and percentage 20 percent and let's complete this. So that's the margin between income and expenses and that's my margin percent. So I would like to present the margin in on a different axis and margin percent on a separate axis. So as you can see here in this graph, so we have got the blue line represent the margin and this yellow line represent the margin percent. You can see. Here. So, so let's see how to do it in click view. So for better use in click view, I'm going to delete these two columns otherwise these two columns will also include in data model in while we import the data from this Excel sheet into click view these two columns will also include so I, I don't want to include them so I delete them I only want to import only these three columns so I open this this uh, this is already created so I'll remove it and let's create it again so I'll first of all we need to load that data or the Excel sheet so I click on table files and daily expenses that's my sheet we have got three columns date income and expenses finish save and reload so it will reload it will fetch the 17 17 rows 17 lines okay now I would like to create a chart as I told you so right click on blank area blank space chart first of all I give a title trends and I'm going to use a combo chart because I want to present the data with bar chart and lines as well. So I go with combo chart and from combo chart and a straight table. This is the allowed type. Next. So first thing dimension. So my dimension is date because I, I would like to present the data as representative uh, based on the date. So I select the date here. Next. Now e expression. So first expression is uh, first expression is sum of income okay and I write income it's a bar type if I only finish this I'll got this income that's the chart then I would like to calculate the expenses also so again I add an expression now expenses is the opposite of income so I, I give minus sum of and expenses sum of expenses and I give expenses. 
and it's it represents a line chart as a line. So I switch it to expenses, switch to bar. This present, but it's it's not coming together. So I right click on this style and I set it to stack instead of group. I change it to stack. So you can see it has been modified. Next is we need to calculate the margin. So again, I'm going to add a new expression and the expression will be sum of now to margin. We need to calculate sum of expense minus sum of income. So I write sum of expense minus sum of income to calculate the margin. So I write margin and this will be a line chart. And I want to show the trend lines as well for this margin. So I select this linear and symbol squares apply. You can see a line has been created here margin line. Sorry, this sum of income minus sum of expenses sum of income minus because if we'll do this, it will give us the opposite data. See the trend line has moved up now because earlier I calculate sum of expense minus sum of income. So it, it, it display the negative values. Now it is displaying the positive values and linear. Okay. Next we have to calculate margin percent. So how to calculate margin percent? I already told you the, uh, how to calculate it. So for this sum of income minus sum of expenses and divide by sum of income okay and margin percent it's a line symbol i choose a different symbol for this and linear as well but if you see this is on the zero axis i would i would like to change its axis on a different axis this is they are on a same axis so how to change the axis for this margin percent so to change the axis for margin person, I go to axis and from here I select margin person and change its axis to right top. So you can see this, it has been changed. The axis has changed from margin person, but it has got no value. So I w what I do is I go to expression and select margin person and select values on data points so that we can see the data points. But the data values are not readable. So we have to make it readable, move to number, margin person. I fix it to show in percent and I format the percent as well. I want only two digits. So percent sign. You can see 20 percent, 20 percent. Right? And these dates. So for this dates, I again select access and I go to this one. So if you want to show grid, we can show grid as well. So for margin, I select show grid. show grid this is to show the grid on the chart if you want to show the grid and uh, sorting this is for sorting if you want to sort the data according to your requirement as per your requirement so we can do the sorting as well so and at the end let's check the caption caption we have got caption here show trends and okay so like this we can calculate the we can represent or we can present the margin and margin percent on different axis in a click view by using different axis. And if you want to create a straight table here, we can create a straight, we can present a straight table and in a straight table we can add all in this add and if you want to add expenses also, so I can add income. Okay. So this is the sum of expenses. This is a straight table, which represents sum of expenses. We can we can give the data complete report. But it is not required by me, so I remove it. And uh, this is only required by me. So this how we can present the data of margin and margin person on different axes. Or uh, this is how to show the trend lines for expression on different axes in view. So that's all in this video. If you have any questions, you can visit our website www.bispsolutions or bisptrainings.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more interesting videos on ClickView. Have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.